Hello everyone. Welcome back to the five steps to studying in New Zealand. Today we will discuss about step number three, which is apply for your course in New Zealand. Again, there are three aspects to applying for your course in New Zealand. The first one is about enrolling, enrolling to study. Okay. What happens in enrolling to study is you will under you will you will come to know about how you are going to apply and where you are going to apply. Okay. And the second step is going to be contact the institute. Okay. So during the enrollment process, you will also know where you are going to apply. So you know the institute, there are majorly three institute, three types of institutes. The number one university, number two is polytechnics. Number one and number two, both are supported by government. And number three is the private training establishments. There are pretty good colleges in private sector as well. So you can choose one of the institutes from these three sectors, universities, polytechnics and private training establishments. Most of the students, they prefer polytechnic because they have the quality and the competitive price for the study. Okay. So the number number three step is about you know contact an advisor. It's very very essential that you go through the right advisor. Okay, you know of course you can do the first two steps by yourself. However, you know you can seek some advice from a education counselor like myself. Okay, where we will help you in getting the first two steps done as well. However. Even after doing the first two steps by yourself, you know, it is a wise decision to go with a advisor for your third step. If at all, you know, you are able to do your first two steps. Okay. The advisor will help you understand how the living, you know, how, what are the living, uh, living conditions or living, how, how, what are the basic things that you need to take care of in New Zealand and how, how you can adapt yourself well with New Zealand environment. So it's very essential for you to choose an advisor who who is well aware of New Zealand. You know, if you are able to choose someone who is already in New Zealand, like someone like myself, I live in Wellington. OK, it would be even beneficial for you to understand the New Zealand environment and quickly adapt to the environment. OK, because I will also provide help with the basic needs. I mean, I mean tips to settle down okay don't expect me to provide you any accommodation or anything <laughs> but i can definitely show you ways to find accommodation that is going to be my uh, primary objective for all the students who seek my help okay and apart from that once you get your offer in place i will personally get involved in you know in helping you prepare for your visa application and then I will also make your visa application, meaning submit your visa application online on your behalf. And I will be in touch with the immigration authorities until your visa process is completed. And our, my efforts will definitely help in influencing a positive outcome because I will give you the right advice according to the immigration instructions and see that your application is full, okay? And that way, you know, you can trust a, a licensed immigration advisor like myself in that context. Unless otherwise there is really something really dodgy in with your documents or something is not, you know, uh, something is not in line with what you're submit submitting, which is not the case in most of the students. However, there are some, some students, you know, who fall prey to fake agents and end up submitting fake documents. OK, and again, that's not a problem with the students. It could be the middle agent, especially from offshore, from other Asian countries where they try to, you know, just submit the visa application with whatever documents. Uh, and that's not going to happen when you seek help from a licensed immigration advisor like myself. OK, so. Today, just to recap, we discussed about step number three, which is apply for your course in New Zealand. And remember the three key aspects of uh, step number three. Number one, enroll. 
and number two, contact the institute, and number three, contact a good advisor. Okay, all the very best for your quest to become a student in New Zealand. And remember, my name is Kiran Palukuri, and I'm a licensed immigration advisor and an education counselor from the coolest capital of the world, Wellington in New Zealand. All the best. Bye-bye.